So guys, if you didn't get a good look from the Instagram clip, you'll get a better look here. So guys, this is the peri peri wing. So that is the lobster. Look at the chunks of meat in there. There's the mac and cheese. Not bad at all. Okay. The way I describe it to anyone that hasn't had lobster, it's um, it's definitely the king of all seafood in my opinion. It's buttery, it's got that indulgent luxury kind of mm, taste and it's very meaty for fish. Yes boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a brand new episode of Halal Munchies. So today I'm in the city of Nottingham, so I'm back here. I've done a few reviews, click in the link in the bio to see a whole playlist of what I've done so far and what I've reviewed in Nottingham. Unfortunately, there's a bit of a story with this. Originally, I wanted to go to a place called Big Stacks. Uh, it just closed down, unfortunately, and they haven't updated their Google page, which is such a shame. It looks so good. However, after speaking to the staff here at this establishment called Wing and Shrimps Kitchen, um, it's actually owned by the same person. A bit of a shaky start. I tried to call these guys too. They don't have a landline, even though it says they do on uh, Google. But behind me is the menu, which I've just done a menu breakdown. And it is a dark kitchen, I believe so. So that's how it looks. I've ordered something called the lobster box. All bits and bobs going on in there. There's a few, there's a few places in Brom. There's a few places in Manchester. There's a few places in those kind of cities that do this kind of food. Wings, shrimps. So I'm very interested to find out what the food's like. This is a long intro. And the next clip you will see is either a menu breakdown or me stuffing my mouth with wings and shrimp. So if you're new here, be sure to like, comment and subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next clip. Quick menu breakdown of wings and shrimp kitchen. Let's go into the box meals. Again, this is my first time trying this kind of food. So I was recommended a 20 pound lobster box, which is four wings. Uh, you get mac and cheese, you get um, seasoned or buffalo uh, fries and then you've got that beautiful I've heard a lot about that so the seasoned garlic butter lobster tail uh, and then you also get a choice of sweet chocolate waffle or garlic and parsley butter bagel which is very interesting very very interesting combination of food there guys the food has come and just look at the spectrum of colors and look at the wide variety so we've got the lobster tail we've got the fries the mac and cheese these beautiful saucy wings and look we've even got dessert in the same box so as mentioned we are at wing and shrimp kitchen and we are pushing out a YouTube review for you guys so as always extremely hungry hungry and cannot wait to cook it so guys if you didn't get a good look from the Instagram clip you'll get a better look here so let's dive straight in look at that that is the beautiful lobster tail Garnish nicely with a bit of greenery and moving on to a bit more greenery is the chips with the mint sauce, the spicy buffalo sauce I believe and again the mac and cheese again looks very cheesy and this looks very saucy this a spicy thing so I've got the honey barbecue as for that flavor and also peri peri so I think there we are I can see the one just at the back that's the peri peri and we've got dessert <laughs> dessert in the same box so that is your lobster box from wings and shrimp so I cannot wait to tuck into this one so let's start off what I believe we should start off with is the wings wings and shrimp so we start off with the wings we don't have any shrimp on the plate here we go oh just look at this it's so it's been deep fried I can feel away I can feel it straight away from the texture perspective it's um, first of all of course a mandatory zoom up wow just look at that so it's been deep fried and almost lathered with that sauce again here we go there's a little twirly whirly of this of this box here we go bismillah Oh yeah. Mm. Oh yeah. So the first thing you're welcome by is that deep crunch because it's been deep fried. This one caught me off guard. Smoky flavor. Normally you get that from something that's been cooked on um, the grill, but it's a smoky flavor you get. That butter has the smoky flavor, which is really interesting. Of course, beautifully cooked chicken from the inside. Lovely garnish with those kind of sesames. That's. 
Oh, it's a silky barbecue sauce. Can you see it glistening off the light? Oh yeah, by the way, aesthetics in the shop are pretty cool. But, the body of flavor within that barbecue sauce is a deep one. Chicken is very juicy too. Now that is the barbecue wings. Let's try the peri-peri ones. So guys, this is the peri-peri wing. I've got like a little leg piece actually. So let's give this a quick taste test. Okay, here we go, peri-peri wings now, here we go. Very different to the barbecue as always. The barbecue has a deep sweet flavor. This has a bit more of a saltier kick. Very, very in alignment with that kind of peri peri sauces we all know. So in Nando's, a delicious peri peri sauce. Again, but what's quite interesting is because they've been deep fried, I'm trying to think where do they get that smoky flavor from? So the wings are fantastic. Love them. So it's time to get a little bit messy because I thought, how am I going to address this? How am I going to attack this? How am I going to eat this? It's a lobster. So as always, look at that. So that is the lobster. Look at the chunks of meat in there, beautifully garnished. And then you can tell it's been roasted because look at that. It's a bit charred. The, the skin's been charred. I've had lobster attack uh, before. The way I describe it to anyone that hasn't had lobster, it's um, it's definitely the king of all seafood in my opinion. It's buttery. It's it's got that indulgent luxury kind of mm, taste, and it's very meaty for fish. Okay, I am, I am struggling to get it out of the shell. But, that is very normal, that is very normal. So a lot of people do struggle to get the meat out. So, so there's a separation, there's a meat just there and meat just there. 20 pounds, let's speak about 20 pounds because is that a good value for money? Being honest, a lot of other places charge that price. So I don't know, uh, but lobster can be quite, uh, oh I've got a chunky piece. Hold that thought, I've got a chunky piece, a right hand actually. Mm. It's juicy, it's incredible. But again, you can tell straight away with regards to the freshness. When you have, when you live right by the port of Barcelona, there's a standard and that standard will stay with you forever. Very soft, not overwhelmingly uh, overly spiced. And that is quite meaty, meaty, meaty <coughs> chunks of meat just there. Next up is the mac and cheese. So this looks really, really cheesy, gooey, all that good stuff. Here we go. You know the mac and cheese, if I'm being brutally honest, it's okay. There you are, look. There's the mac and cheese. If anything, I'd like it just a tad bit more cheesier. And a bit more flavor. But check out these fries. I like the flavors on those um, fries. Really good balance. Of sweet, sweet, salty, spicy, and it cools you down with that mint sauce, mint, mint yogurt sauce. Last but not least, we have dessert. Look, we get a whole waffle actually, a Belgian style waffle with some white chocolate, I believe. So we have dessert in a box too. For me, brutally honest, nothing special at all. A bit dense, but very overly sweet, a bit crunchy. That one's unfortunately getting a no from me, but. You always need something sweet to finish off your meal. Remember guys, food goes to the belly, but dessert goes to the heart. So guys, once again, we have forgotten to do the overall views of Wings Shrimps Kitchen. I'm gonna make this a quick one, but I just wanna say firstly, thank you so much for watching. It'd be amazing if you could give this video a like, comment, and even subscribe if you're new here, that'd be fantastic. And also follow the Instagram page at Halal Munchies Reviews. So overall, it was, it was okay. That's the best way I could put it. It was okay. I haven't really reviewed lobster before. However, if you haven't checked out my Barcelona playlist, yep, I lived in Barcelona for over a year, so I've got kind of a halal munchy series. So what I'll do is I'll link in the description below. Plenty of seafood options there. But however, the chaps that were there, very nice. The service was good. They were very, very nice. But I did enjoy the wings. So you also get a waffle, which you have dessert in the box. Uh, you get mac and cheese, you get lobster. And everything was okay, if I'm being very honest. So the guys... That's my, that's kind of my overall views. Check it out if you're in the area, if you're in Nottingham. I think it was, I thought, you know what, I'm gonna bring something different to my channel. So therefore I went to get one of these kind of crap lobster boxes. There you are guys, that's a quick overall view and I'll catch you guys in the next review.